Hey guys, welcome back to Earthspeed. I'm going to show you how you can replace the back of your S22 Ultra to the desired color of your choice. I pre-ordered this device in white and right now I am bored of the white color. So I decided to purchase a green color back cover and I'm going to install that on this white S22 Ultra. The first step is to hit the back of the device for at least 3 to 5 minutes on the low setting of your heat gun. If you do not have a heat gun, you can use a hairdryer, a common hairdryer to hit the back of your device. It will be possible to remove the back cover using only a hairdryer. After the device has been warmed up, you can use a suction cup to pull the back of the device just a little bit and insert your guitar pick and start going around the device to detach the back cover from the frame of the device. If you choose to use a metal tool like I did in this video, make sure that you do not put too much pressure on the edge of the device because you risk to have some scratch on the device. So I recommend that you use some plastic tools to remove the back of the device to avoid any risk of scratching your frame of the device. Also, I chose the cheapest option while doing this back cover swap. So I have to replace the camera bezel on the new back cover in order to seal the device. So while doing that, you may crack your old back cover because there are a lot of double-sided tape on the camera bezel. So if you really want to change the back of your device, I prefer that you purchase a back cover that comes with a camera bezel already attached on it. So you're going to remove the old back cover and put it aside and then start the installation of the new back cover that you purchase. You won't have to remove the camera bezel and mess with the old back cover. So just in case you want to go back to your previous color, you have your back cover ready to be installed. If you choose to do it this way, you're going to hit the back cover around the area where we have the camera bezel and then use a flat metal tool to go under the camera bezel and then pull it out and prepare it for the installation onto the new back cover. You need to go as gentle as possible because you do not want to bend the camera bezel because it is very thin. You can bend it if you put too much force while removing it. And also the camera bezel has double sided tape on it already. If you remove it, your double sided tape might be weak and you might need to add some B7000 or some other electronic repair tape or glue on your camera bezel so that it sits fully flush on the new back cover. Also avoid to put your device in any amount of water after doing a back cover replacement with the camera bezel transferred but the double sided tape not new. If you reuse some double sided tape avoid any water source. You need to prep the new back cover for it to stick firmly onto the frame of the device. You need to apply some light pressure on the double sided tape pre-installed on the new back cover. Make sure that you apply some pressure on the camera bezel area also. Make sure that you do not touch the camera lenses to avoid any dust on the inside of the camera lens. Once the protecting film removed, you need to align the camera bezel and the device together and then apply a little bit of pressure up top. Make sure that everything is aligned, the back cover and the frame of the device. You can turn the device, rotate around the device and check to make sure that everything is aligned. You do not have any miss elevation or any crack or anything unusual. When those steps are done, you need to keep applying some pressure on the back of the device for at least 5 minutes. You may hear some ticking or clicking sound. These are the double sided tape sticking and sometimes in sticking from the frame of the device. If you hear that, you need to keep applying pressure on that area until you do not hear anything. So after that, you should have the protecting film on the back of the device. You can remove it and check the device for any scratch or anything unusual. You do your last inspection before we can install the clamps to apply the pressure constantly for at least five to 10 minutes. These are my professional repair clamps that I use for any back cover replacement. You can also use the black clamps that you can see on the video. This is a paper binding clamp. So in school we bind papers together or in the office we can bind paper together with those clamps. Those clamps can also be used to apply the small pressure that we need for the device back cover to stick firmly onto the frame of the device. After 5 to 10 minutes of pressure applied, you can definitely remove the protecting film on the back. The back cover should be solidly attached to the frame by now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and I will see you next time.
time. You can also follow us on Instagram.